So we're outside of uh, Lincoln, Montana, and we just picked up uh, Backpacker Joe. Um, how are you doing today, Joe? I'm doing well. It's, it might rain today, but you know, you just kind of take the good with the bad. Yeah. That's about it. How do you feel about, um, how do you feel about America right now? <laughs> well, I'm pretty, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful for Obama, because I think he's a smart guy. I think he's got a lot of uh, a lot of obstacles to overcome, though, and I, you know, we'll see. We'll see what he can do with it. But um, Have it you was kind of a depressing time. I met a lot of people who got laid off. I got laid off. That's why I'm out here hiking. Um, what do you think about the um, the bailout to the banks? Yeah, do you have any comment on that, or or do you just kind of I, keep to your own and live your life, or? I mean, I don't know a whole lot about the financial system. Um, I can't say I'm an expert, but uh, it kind of sucks. I mean, from everything I've heard is, is if we don't bail out the banks, we're totally screwed, right? Like, the whole economy is going to collapse. But it really, it really irritates me that the same people who got us into this situation it's kind of like they've held us up, like they've got a gun to our head, and they're saying, "Hey, uh, we just got you here. Now you got to pay us to get us out, even though we're the ones who screwed you in the first place." And that's, I mean, that's just so frustrating to me that it's the same people who got us here that we have to now bail out in order to fix the economy. And I, don't, I mean, I don't know how true that is because I know, like, I just I haven't studied it. I'm not, you know, some PhD economist or something, but uh, you know. Apparently, very smart people believe this and across the political spectrum. So, I don't know. It just really irritates me that, uh, I don't know. It feels like getting held up almost. And there's nothing you can do about it because they probably are right. You know, if the banking system goes down, the financing for all the other jobs is going to dry up. And I don't know. It's very frustrating. So, that's a pretty well, well thought out answer. Um, if you have one one mantra or one like piece of advice for what do you think our country needs most do you have any way to summarize that oh, or man, just your general what, your your attitude you know keys <laughs> um, let, let me think about how to put this um, i really like it, keys don't like to get the brain working. <laughs> no, I'm good. I drink, but man, right before I hike, it's rough. It, it kind of messes you up. You go pretty slow. Check it. Maybe you want one for the... <laughs> like, you don't want to take all your problems and say, hey, it's not my fault, it's this person's fault, it's that person's fault. Because at some point, you got to be responsible for it. Even if, you, if, even if you have to walk uphill and everyone else has to walk on flat ground, you still, you know, just get the hell out and walk. But, uh, but, man, we gotta figure out how to level this playing field a little because it's intimidating, man. It's intimidating when you, when you feel like, so, you know, the divide is getting so big between the haves and the haves nots and, and some people have to walk, some people just face such a battle that others don't and it's just not fair, man. This is, America should be the kind of place, and it's never been this way, but it's always strove to be this way, where everyone who's born starts out at the same chance, and and uh, and then they, they get to run and see how far they can go. But man, it doesn't feel like that right now. It's, it feels like everyone's starting in different places. On? Yeah. This is the average Joe. Heading up the hill, crossing the continental divide because he got kicked by the curb. And not to the curb, but by the curb, but yet still is walking across America. What more could you ask for?